Hello YouTubers, this is another one of my RV videos. This one is inspired by Martin and Johnny that have a channel called RV Street. Uh, Martin got a motorhome identical to mine except a different manufacturer. They're both on a F53 Ford chassis. And he went through his and took about a year to go through his and fix things and recalk and upgrade and modify. He's got three sets uh, of series of what he did his motorhome. It's very good and it inspired, inspired me to do this one. I wanted to recalk all my uh, joints and cracks and everything to uh, make sure it's watertight. But I had noticed that it had been worked on with uh, somebody that was either drunk or some children and they had just smeared silicone everywhere. Up here around here the wind on the other side they didn't even get it near the crack they just went around like that they, they were coloring outside the lines big time well if you want to silicone it you need to get all that mess off of there but martin didn't tell us how he did it so i had to figure it out so here's what i did come over and look at our supplies i tried many things i tried uh, muric acid i tried rubbing alcohol i tried um, methanol that's the poisonous stuff in moonshine that you got You can't drink it or you go blind. But methanol is used to fly a little RV airplanes and things like that. Um, and um, I finally found out that paint thinner, this toluene, works great. So Harbor Freight has a set of brushes, and one of them is a rubber brush. It's stronger than a toothbrush, and you just put your solution in there. One other thing. They make, Harbor Freight has these things, but the wire ones are too rough. They, well, the big wire ones are too rough and they scratch the paint. So they have a little one. We'll show you how to use that later. You need rubber gloves and you also need some of this foamy bathroom cleaner. And you need some rags. So what we're going to do is back over here and watch how this works. I'm telling you, you can take other chemicals and you can rub this all day. Yeah. You won't get it to loosen up, but you just put a little on here with a brush. Back over, are you good? Yeah. Put a little on here with a brush. Kind of get it wet. Maybe move over here this way a little more. Right here. There you go. Get it wet. And then you just go to scrubbing, and it comes right off real quick compared to anything else you can do I spent about an hour scrubbing with different stuff and didn't make any difference I mean the person that did this must must have just not cared about at all about their quality of their work or they didn't know what they were doing this motorhome belonged to a hospital they were doing mobile sonograms so the maintenance people, you wouldn't believe how they had done the electrical batteries there and here. They had all kinds of things running. You can see I added four batteries in there and we wired them, but they had <laughs> just a mess. They didn't understand it at all. So this is evidence here. You see how that's coming off? Paint thinner is the only thing I found that would take it off. Martin didn't tell us how to do it, but he, he did it. I, I believe... Me and him and his wife, Joni, and maybe some people who work it on RVs actually know how much work he put into his motorhome to get it actually above factory standards. Now, the secret of this is when you get it loosened up, you got to get it off there real quick. First of all, you want the paint that are off of there. Because you let it set, you probably think it won't paint thinner and take off my paint. Well, yes, it will, but... If you get this mess off of there, wipe it off right quick and then clean it. Especially wash it. It should be okay. But maybe you can begin to see there. How to clean that all, all that old stuff off so you can I can see here it's starting to take a little paint off I haven't seen that before but that's on that metal there 
I may eventually get this whole thing painted. It's kind of clinical looking. Let's focus on this crack right here a little bit. This is where it's mostly where they just went on and back up a little bit. See that right there? Just wet it and then start scrubbing. Use that plastic brush where you won't scratch your paint off. Believe me, nothing else will take it off like that. So usually I'm doing this and Marsha's following me. She's doing the camera work and wiping it right off. Getting it ready for caulking. After we clean it up a little bit more. If it stays on there till it dries, it will reconstitute wherever that mess is uh, going. Take a little time and you'll clean it all up and have it ready. Okay, we're just going to assume I finish with that. Then the next thing I do is just keep it on there. I get a fresher rag and I hit it with the bathroom cleaner. That foamy bathroom cleaner. And just let it set for a few seconds. And that should get the paint thinner off most of it. And it'll clean it up good where you can see what you need to go back and hit. Like I said, I'll clean it up real good with a pressure washer and soap. <laughs> Now, the next thing is, you can have places <clears throat> where the black stuff is, or you really need to dig that old grout out of there. And you can use that brush like that. This is a softer brush, it's a wire brush, and it's small enough to get in that crack. In some places, the old caulker, silicone, We'll just peel out long strips. Now this motorhome's only about uh, six or seven years old, so about every five years you have to really do a good recalking job, or else the water is going to get in it. And when the water gets in it, you got some bad problems. So that's how to do it. Thank you, Martin, for inspiring me, and I'm going to do many of the other things you did. I may even find a better way to do it than you did who knows <laughs> thank you and please uh, if you like my videos I have several more on RV maintenance and modifications and tips and tricks and I've been on on the road off and on for about 35 years and I know what will go wrong and have some ideas on how to fix it or make it more convenient to live in thank you <laughs>